Hi guys, I apologize for being so quiet the past years. I did not upload very much to YouTube. My interest uh, in the past shifted a little bit. And as you notice, notice, this is the first video where I speak. I'm not a native speaker and I always refused to speak to my videos. But this time I decided a different way. Let me show you what Help me up from posting more videos. Well, it was this little sucker. My DMC 12 DeLorean. Yes, it's the real thing. And I love this baby. As you know, I love vintage computers. But now, I nearly love this bad boy a little bit more. But back to the computers. I started uh, collecting computers in about uh, 2004, 2005 and I did not immediately start collecting computers. The first thing I started collecting was vintage hard disk drives. So here you can see some really huge drives from uh, IBM, Fujitsu and other brands. Uh, these are uh, 14 inch to 10 inch and up to 8 inch drives and uh, later drives uh, four and a half inch drives yeah I have several hundreds of vintage computer disk drives also collected uh, drum memory um, appliances as you can see here these are the predecessors of uh, hard disk drives drum memories and yeah I have all variants of 8 inch disk drives and also some tape stuff or this weird honeycomb uh, storage utility from IBM or here I have a complete IBM uh, 3370 drive it weighs a ton about 60 kilo or 120 pounds I cannot lift it myself but I want to show you now something very special one of my very special hard disk drives which I'm very proud of I own it since about 15 years this is the bad boy I want to show you today it's a vintage mainframe hard disk from uh, Fujitsu um, I tried to find out the capacity of this drive, but I failed. I could not find any information online. It's really heavy and it's mounted on this cage here. Uh, this is how it looks from the back side. Okay, that works. It also came with, back then, a typical list of defective uh, um, uh, detective, uh, defective uh, blocks on the surface and this is dated from 1994 so it looks it was still in service until the middle of 90s and this is the list of all bad blocks it has uh, 99 bad blocks that's not too bad for this huge monster I absolutely cannot say uh, how much capacity it holds. I suppose it's somewhere between 100 and 300 megabytes. Here you can see the very nice 14 inch platters. And the best thing is, it starts up. It's connected to power. And yeah, let's give it a shot. The last time I fired it up, it was about two years ago. So we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, it spins up, up to production speed, oh man, is this thing loud? Oh my god, it's really loud and it's huge. Okay, 
Actually, I don't have a computer connected to it. This would be a lifetime project. I turn it off again. It's really a monster. Okay, that's it for now. Let me know if you want to see, for example, these computers or several others of my storage units. And we'll see us again, hopefully.